Good morning, dear friends. My name is Olivier Bouito from ITS Kigali. I'm here to show you just a simple way to control two double acting cylinders with proximity switches by using a uh, pneumatic, of course, and electricity. So it is an electro pneumatic. So we start, we go to pneumatic system and we select the pressure source and then we will also need the exhaust. Then we are just selecting the component that we need. And this is the double acting cylinder, and this I need the directional control valve to control my double acting cylinder. So I connect carefully the pressure source to the DCV exhaust, and then I I copy this, or you can hold your control key on your keyboard, and then you drag, you put it somewhere like that, and then you connect carefully the DCV and the double acting cylinder. And then you go to the pneumatic system, you go to the sensor, and you find uh, proximity, uh, proximity switch, the proximity switch or proximity sensor. So you put it there, and that is called 1RS1. You can use capitals 1RS1. We do the same, we have to put uh, one RRS2 as proximity switches, and then you can copy this or duplicate. Then we put it here, and uh, we just rename here, modify, and we put two RRS1 because we are on the cylinder number two, and then we modify that one also, we put we call it. RS2 because we are on the cylinder 2. So we are done with the electric control, but uh, the limit control we can simplify, simply the uh, test manually because it has got uh, override. So we proceed with the electric control. So we close here and we go to the electric control. So we just need to put the solenoid the, there and the, let's call it sol 1. So I need one, and uh, it goes with the coil, coil one, K, uh, K, K one, K one like that. Then we can copy them, we can duplicate, and then we put them there. As a, now we name them. It's no longer K one, so we call K two. Then OK, and this is gonna be solenoid two. Modify and uh, we call it solenoid two. Okay, so we need the K three. Just put it here, K three, K three like that. And then we will need zero voltage. Let's connect the zero voltage. We connect every component here. We connect all components to the zero voltage. Yeah. 
And uh, we need another contact, uh, which is uh, another contact like that. Let's call it. Okay. Okay. So we just bring this. to that one and we bring another contact here and then we connect it okay but don't that connection that is useless so we can connect that one to that phone we do the same thing here and finally we will need this connection we can copy the connection here and then we mirror or we duplicate and then we move just to this contact okay then okay and this is not needed and uh, this is modify and the right stop that stop okay okay and okay and this is the start. So modify, write start. Start then, okay. Okay. So the start goes here. And then you will need to link this, uh, this to K3, K2. That to K2 will link, then okay. And then we link this to one RS one. Okay, okay. And this is one RS two. Okay, okay, okay. So let's just bring it from here. Just move it a little bit. And this is K two. K two as hold on. This is K two, okay. And uh, this is a uh, 2RS1, 2RS1, okay, okay, not 2RS, but 2RS22, two two. this is a uh, 2RS2, two 2RS2, two. Two two. Uh, yes, okay, just drag the name here, okay, and this is 2RS1. To R S one, okay, just like that, okay. And this is K three, okay, okay. So this is also K three, okay. Link, close, okay. So link here, solenoid two, solve two, okay, okay. And this is sol one, sol one, link, okay. So now our circuit is now working. It's done, we are done with the circuit. So we can control now. We can control to see whether it works. Let's start the circuit. You know, the circuit is working. The circuit is working. And then we can stop. We can stop our circuit, it stops. We start. Uh, normally, you can also try to have an animation showing the way cylinder uh, uh, moving, etc. 
extension and extraction. You know, when the first cylinder moves in extension, it reaches the first uh, one RS2 to connect the second solenoid, which means when the first cylinder reaches its full stock in extension, the next cylinder also starts its full extension stroke. And when the, it reaches the end of this, the extension stroke, the, the first cylinder retracts back. And when it is the end of the retraction stroke, the second cylinder also retracts back. And this repeats again and again until you stop the circuit. Like here, when I stop the circuit, it stops. And all cylinders are in retracted mode. And when we start, the cylinder starts to extend and retract. And then this is just a simple way to simulate a simple, a simple uh, control, electromagnetic control with proximity switches. So here we have the proximity switches just on the piston to detect whether the piston reaches the, the, the starting point or the ending point. It means the piston is being detected by the proximity sensors. And these proximity sensors are sending the, the signal to, to the electrical circuit so that they can control the tensional control valve. So thank you guys for watching my video. And uh, I'd like to, to say thank you again because it is a big support when you're watching my videos and I like it. Please leave a comment. And if you need more updates from my channel, you can go on YouTube and find Olivier Mugito. You will find more updates. And I will be up upgrading, updating my, the support day to day. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe, of course, on my channel, and you can so that you can have more videos. You know, as I recall, we have this is the double acting cylinder. This is another double acting cylinder. This is a directional control valve, three uh, five port two position. This is also a directional control valve, five port two position. And here I have the solenoid one for controlling this DCV. We have the solenoid 2 for controlling our DCV2, and we have the electrical control circuit. And the solenoid 1 is represented here as Sol 1. The solenoid 2 is represented in electrically by Sol 2. And we have the relays or contactors that are manipulating the circuit by means of having the information from the sensors like 1RS1 uh, and 1RS2. So, dear friends, uh, but just to share with you this, because I know it is more interesting, you know, in a industrial process, we deal with the automation, we deal with the pneumatics, and we deal with the PLC, we deal with electricity. So these are helpful for just the beginner, and the, the more you, are, you like this, the more you do the, them, the more you become uh, strong in automation or simply in the control system. And then, um, just as an information, this simulation that I'm showing you, I've done it with Automation Studio software. Normally, when you have the Automation Studio software, you can simulate, but there's other also software that can be used, like uh, Fluid Seal, uh, you can use it. The most important is to understand what you are doing. Okay, thank you guys. Just remember, don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel. It's Olivier Gouito. And uh, I think together we will build our nation. Thank you. Just keep on watching. Keep on watching. Start and stop. Thank you.